Why would they mow down all these people? They can't let everyone in. <laughs> so they killed them? Dead people don't get infected. It's kind of shitty. The Last of Us really has been a story of contrast. It's some pretty dark themes, but they're juxtaposed against an aesthetic that we find very beautiful. That contrast is visual, but it's also in the environment. The world we decided was actually its own character. What happens 20 years after the fall of man, when no one's taking care of anything? There's something really pretty about nature reclaiming its domain once we are gone. <laughs> So everything we're doing in the environments is relating back to what you should be feeling in the story or what's happening to these characters. You as a player, you as Joel, you can look at these things and reflect about how much we've built and what we've lost. You get to see hints of civilization that used to be. Each level has, you know, a lighting artist, a modeler, and a texture artist, and we all work together. Uh, this was the block mesh that they gave me, and it set the interior of a building. I had to be mindful of, like, where I had set the lighting up in the color script, how it would be coming through the windows and lighting this area, uh, which would give us this concept. I keep everything on separate layers, so say if they don't want the guys in the concept, I can take them out. Or if they don't want the closet there, like I can take that out really easily. Keep everything like uh, really flexible. Well, Naughty Dog, we really try to cultivate a culture where anybody is encouraged to criticize anybody else's works. And we find that the more we do that, the better the game gets. We don't have a lot of meetings because most of the meetings are you and two other people hanging out at somebody's desk. If you need something to get done, you just go find that person and you talk to them about it. So, dude, I was actually trying to figure out right here, there should probably be some dead foliage. It might be cool to see some of the dead stuff around the edges of the green or like even spilling out into the street. Maybe what we do is in some of these areas, we use it as like a transition to form from the actual concrete up to the side of the building. So like they're almost sitting on top of a bed of dead foliage, like that really rich kind of like orangey brown yeah. color. Sienna or something would be nice. Something real cheddar. -y. That's how you know you're done, the end product often ends up being stronger because that bouncing back off somebody else gives you a result that maybe you wouldn't have even thought of in the first place. All right, there's the bridge. That's our way out of here. Mandatory evacuation. Evacuate to where? What do you think? Quarantine zone. See, some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. We consciously take in consideration uh, lighting in the beginning. I've never ever focused so much on lighting and how much sensitivity there is to that here. Did, did you talk to the character artist about her hand? So her face is getting a lot of speck, but then her arm is just like bone dry. You think something we can tweak in shade here? We'll have to send back to uh, character Michael. team Michael to um, take a look. I can play with the lights and see if that's creates more like spec. Yeah. So all the characters cast soft shadows onto the environment. Even when there is no direct sunlight or no direct light sources, we still have nice fuzzy shadows. Damn, that's quite a drop. If you shine a line on a red wall, it will bounce the red lighting of the whole environment, making it red. Everything should have a bounce lighting. Otherwise, the world is gonna feel dry and unrealistic. Once I finish the concept, they take it at 3D artists and lighters, biz effects guys, and they'll bring it into like the game engine. Like they got the same sign, all the foliage, like lighting. That's how it kind of translates from the color script to the finished game that you play. This way. If we cut through downtown, we can hit the Capitol building by sunrise. We hope. This engine is really driven in a way towards a very high level of cinematic control. Hopefully, if we achieve our goal, you'll see it is beautiful. There are these truly beautiful moments amid all this chaos and destruction.